Okay, class, welcome back after the breakout room activity. So let's talk about the answer here. So I have received your answer. So let's just talk about that. Here we go. So depreciation on salesperson's car. This is not the production. Okay, salesperson car. So this is period cost. Rent on equipment used in factory, product cost. Whatever it's, uh, whatever inside the factory belongs to product cost, right? That is just a, a simple case. So uh, lubricant used for machine maintenance, machine maintenance, which kind of machine? Of course, it's a production facility. It is product cost, right? So you guys mentioned on number two, rent on equipment used in a facility as a period cost. No, it is a product cost, right? And number four, salaries of personnel who work in the finished goods warehouse. Finished goods warehouse, it's a period cost, not the production facility. Five, soap and paper towel used by the factory workers at the end of the shift. Factory workers, product cost. Factory supervisor salary, product cost. Heat, water, and power consumption inside the factory, product cost. Material used for boxing, product for shipment, that is not inside the factory, it is period cost. Similarly, advertising cost, period cost. Workers' compensation insurance for factory employees, factory employees related to product cost. Right, guys? You understand? Subhan, Anis, Ali, Junpyo. Yep. Sorry, right? just, I didn't understand the uh, five. Isn't Fine. it like expense? Soap, paper towel used by factory workers at the end of the ship. So like I told you, anything that is used inside the factory or for the factory production, it is always product cost, right? Subhan, what is your next question? Still, I think you are confused. Okay, no, the, the seven also is product, right? They are kind of same. Yeah. Heat, okay. water, and power consumption inside the factory. Product cost, right? Eight, material use for boxing, shipment, okay. Uh, can we talk about that? Insurance. Whose insurance? Factory workers' insurance. Always product. Now here, depreciation on chairs, tables in the factories. Look at the first one and the 11th. First one, depreciation on salesperson car, period. But here, depreciation on chairs and table inside factory, this is product cost, right? When we discuss about product cost, looks like manufacturing cost, direct labor, direct material, manufacturing overhead, right? But product cost related to manufacturing, manufacturing, anything that is related to manufacturing, or you can say that the production facility inside the factory, that is product cost. 12, wages of receptionist in the administrative officer, uh, in administrative office, period cost. If it says in the factory office, it would be product cost. 14, cost of renting rooms in, at Florida resort for the annual sales conference, of course, period cost, cost of Packaging the company's product, company's product. And of course the packaging is done in side the factory. It is product cost. Our third learning objective is understand cost behavior patterns, including variable cost, fixed cost and mixed cost. So now we are deciding or we are basing our, uh, our uh, classification uh, we are basing our classification based on the behavior of the cost, right? Before that, what we have studied, cost based on manufacturing and cost based on period or uh, uh, product. And now cost based on behavior. On the basis of behavior, we have fixed cost, variable cost and mixed cost. So cost behavior refers to how cost will react to changes in the level of production activity. So some of the commons are variable, fixed, and mixed. So let's talk about the variable cost. So variable cost, here we have the example of text, total texting, uh, you know, on the bills. 
So any message that you send has a cost. If you send more messages, you have to pay more cost. If you produce 100 messages, you have to pay in you know 100 message cost. If you have to produce 10 messages, then 10 messages cost. So it means the behavior of this variable cost is like that if production increases, it also increases, right? So it has a linear relationship here, graphical relationship like that. So we are not going into the geometry or, uh, or curve you know, analysis over there. So I'm just gonna talk about here. It's a, it has a linear relationship, right? So if the cost of per text is five cents, right? So the more you text, the, you know, the more you send the message, the more you have to pay for the any text that you pay for that. So if you see, if the cost of the text is constant at five text per second, right? So now we are talking about variable cost per unit, its behavior changes. Look at here, the previous slide. Variable cost, not per unit, variable cost. Its behavior is like that. The more you send the text, the more you have to pay for the mobile phone text messages, right? But if you convert the variable cost into per unit variable cost. See, the cost per unit is text. Whether you send one unit, you have to pay 10, uh, 5 cents. You have to pay, if you have sent 10, you have to pay 5. You have to, if you send 1,000 messages, you have to pay per text 5. This is per unit. So it means on total basis, variable cost behavior is like that quantity increase cost increase but when you convert that variable cost into per unit variable cost is behavior changes is behavior like that whether you send one or whether you send two per unit cost remain the same we cannot say it fixed per remain it remains the same right now let's see the behavior of uh, fixed cost. We'll talk about the activity over the coming slide. Fixed cost. So what if you are given uh, chances to pay at the start of the month some value and you can send as many as you want. So for example, your monthly contract fee for your cell phone is fixed for the number of the month, month minutes in your contract the monthly contract fee does not change based on the number that you make. So if you are given a package, for example, if you pay $100, you can send whatever, how many messages is up to you. So if you send one message, even then per month cost is 100. If you send two messages, 1,000, 20,000, 100,000, 1 million unit, 1 million, messages the cost is fixed so behavior of fixed cost is that the cost if the unit rises cost remain the same if the unit decreases cost remain the same right so that is in total so total fixed cost behavior is that it has nothing to do with the quantity. It has nothing to do with the quantity. It remains the same. While if you convert fixed cost into per unit, right? If there was a hundred dollar bill that you paid and you only send 10 messages during the month, it means your cost is 10 per, uh, 10 per message but company limit you to send only 10 messages. No, if you send hundred, so cost decreases to one. So it means cost have this curved analysis, a uh, curve decrease here, right? So it means the behavior changed 
yes the behavior has changed in per unit cost basis so now the next thing is that which is very important you can note it down here and that if if we, if we want to rely on fixed cost then we rely fixed cost as on total basis right so it means we cannot use per unit fixed cost why because if behavior changes and changes in terms of decreasing always decreasing when number of units increase fixed cost per unit start decreasing so it means it's, it's not the fix so we cannot trust we cannot use fixed unit per cost in in analysis rather we believe we can use fixed cost in total in our analysis whether you send 1 million units of 1 million quantity of uh, text message whether you send only one it's 100 dollar that's it but if as compared to the uh, variable cost we cannot trust variable cost on total basis why because the total variable cost increases when quantity increases it stays it's, it doesn't stays the same it means we cannot trust in our analysis we cannot trust variable cost which is in total which remains the fix per unit variable cost remains fixed remain constant sorry i don't i don't have to use the word fixed constant right so it means whenever we are doing analysis we will take variable cost per unit because that remains the same and we will take total fixed cost because that remains the same so this is the category of cost classification of cost based on the behavior so when we are using in analysis we always use variable cost per unit